Welcome to Science Fiction Guide. Today, we're taking you on a journey across time, space, and beyond. Are you ready to discover how truly big our universe is? Imagine this. You're sitting inside a futuristic car. The engine roars, the wheels lift from the ground, and in a blink, you're no longer on Earth. At light speed, you reach the moon in just one second. In three minutes, you're at Mars. Eight minutes later, you arrive at the sun. Four hours after leaving Earth, you pass Pluto, the farthest planet in our solar system. Sounds fast, right? But here's the catch. Even at this mind-bending speed, it would take you 100,000 years just to cross our own galaxy, the Milky Way, and to reach our nearest galactic neighbor, Andromeda, 2.5 million years. That's the scale we're dealing with. The universe is not just big, it's beyond imagination. So today, let's take a journey together. From our little blue planet to the edge of what we can see, and then even further. Let's ask, how big is our universe really? Astronomers divide the cosmos into two parts. The observable universe, what we can see, and the actual universe, the part we may never reach. Why the limit? Because light takes time to travel. Our universe began 13.8 billion years ago. And since then, light has only had that much time to travel. Imagine a bubble expanding around us. That bubble is what we call the observable universe with a diameter of 93 billion light years. Now here's where the numbers get insane. About 10 million superclusters of galaxies exist inside this bubble. 350 billion large galaxies, each as massive as our Milky Way. 7 trillion dwarf galaxies, scattered like glitter in the dark. And around 30 billion trillion stars, if you started counting those stars, one per second, you would never finish. Even if you started at the Big Bang, you'd still be counting today. Let's hop back into that futuristic car and take a ride at the speed of light. One second. Boom! You're at the moon. Three minutes. Hello, Mars. Eight minutes, you've just touched the sun. Four hours later, you're waving at Pluto. But keep driving. It takes 100,000 years to get across our galaxy. 2.5 million years to reach Andromeda. And Andromeda is just one of billions of galaxies out there. Imagine this, if you started traveling toward Andromeda the same day the first humans picked up stone tools, you would still be nowhere close today. Light speed isn't fast enough for the universe. So what lies beyond what we can see? The observable universe is just the beginning. Beyond it, the actual universe could be hundreds of times larger. Thousands of times larger, or maybe infinite. Some theories suggest the universe is flat and stretches forever. Others propose it curves back on itself like the surface of a sphere. So if you traveled far enough, you'd eventually return to where you started. 
But here's the mystery. Beyond the cosmic light horizon, light hasn't had time to reach us. It's like staring into a fog. You know there's more beyond, but you can never see it. We're like goldfish in a bowl, looking through curved glass, wondering if there's an ocean outside. Now here's where things get strange. Everything you've ever seen, stars, planets, galaxies, makes up only 4% of the universe. Humans, life, all the higher elements, just 0.03%. The rest is invisible. Twenty-three percent is dark matter. We can't see it, but it holds galaxies together, like invisible glue. Without it, stars would fly apart. Seventy-three percent is dark energy, a mysterious force pushing galaxies away from each other, faster and faster, stretching space itself. So think about this. 96% of the universe is made of something we cannot see, touch, or fully understand. We are literally surrounded by an invisible cosmos. Your school textbook said everything is made of atoms. But the truth is, atoms are barely a footnote in the grand story of the universe. Let's zoom out step by step. Start with Earth, a pale blue dot. Zoom out to our solar system, already tiny compared to what's beyond. Beyond lies the Oort cloud, a frozen shell of icy bodies marking the edge of our solar neighborhood. Now zoom out more. The Milky Way, a galaxy of 400 billion stars. The local group, a cluster of over 50 galaxies. The Virgo Supercluster, home to thousands of galaxies. The Laniakea Supercluster, a staggering 100,000 galaxies stretched across 500 million light years. But it doesn't stop there. Zoom out far enough and the universe forms a cosmic web, a vast structure of galaxies linked like filaments, stretching for hundreds of millions of light years. Looking eerily like a cosmic brain. When astronomers pointed the Hubble Space Telescope at a patch of sky no bigger than a grain of sand, they discovered thousands of galaxies hiding there, each filled with billions of stars, each possibly hosting worlds like ours. The scale is not just large. It's beyond human comprehension. And here's the most mind-blowing truth. You and I exist in this universe where stars outnumber grains of sand on Earth. Where most of reality is invisible, where distances are measured in billions of light years, we are made from the ashes of ancient stars. We come from the rarest 0.03% of matter in existence. Against impossible odds, the universe gave birth to us. Tiny specks of stardust capable of asking big questions. Maybe the true measure of the universe isn't its size. Maybe it's our curiosity.
Our hunger to look up at the night sky and wonder, what else is out there? Because the more we learn, the more we realize. We've only scratched the surface. Pause, soft, reflective tone. So next time you look up at the stars, remember, you are part of something so vast, even light cannot outrun it. And yet, here you are, thinking, imagining, and dreaming about infinity. And maybe that is the greatest miracle of all. When you look up at the stars, do you ever wonder, who else is looking back? Thank you for being part of this journey. If this video resonates with you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.